Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to continue our discussion of the DOM and what it is and how we can use it. When talking about JavaScript, basically the browser turns every HTML tag into a JavaScript object and each of these objects is stored inside the document object and we can access them using our JavaScript. So for example, here is my awesome website. I've got a title and this is my awesome website. Yo is a P tag. So let's look at the code for that. So you'll see I've got my head with my links. These links don't work, by the way. Um, and I also have my body with an H1 and a P tag. So if we were to look at this in the DOM, it, it, a very, very simple representation. This is an oversimplification, but just to make sure everybody understands, it would look something like this. You would have your JavaScript object, then you have a document, and then you would have HTML because that's the first element. And inside the HTML, you would have a head, and inside the head, you would have your meta, all of your meta tags. You'd have your meta one, whatever that is. You'd have your meta two, and whatever that is. You have meta three. Then you would have your title, and your title would be my awesome website. Then you have your first link. Link one is this. Link two would be, and again, this is an oversimplification. There's a lot more information. They're also not called link one and link two. They've got individual IDs and so on and so forth. But just to get, wrap your head around it. After the head, because the head is here, you have the body. And your body is another object. And inside of that, you have an H1 object. That is my title. And you have a P object that says, this is my awesome website, yo. And that's what the DOM basically looks like for this particular website. Now again, I'll just reiterate this, this is very, very, very simplified. There's a lot more information in the actual DOM than just this. There's a, there's a ton more information. But this is really all that we as programmers need to think about. This is all that we really need to know about that unless you're doing a whole lot of super deep dive into some some programming, some web, web design stuff, or you're creating your own frameworks and things like that. But for 99.9% .9 of those of us out there, this is all we'll really ever need to know. If you want to see the whole thing, you can. Just come to the console and run console.dir document. It'll print out the whole thing, and you'll notice you've got all this stuff. All these things, you know, you notice you've got, there's no links on this website, there's no on-click handlers, there's all kinds of stuff. All this information is included in the DOM. But again, you'll never use more than 95% of these. I mean, this almost all these never come up. If they do, just Google it. Don't try to memorize all this mess on pointer in or on pointer down, on pointer cancel. All these things can be useful depending on what you're doing, but you'll very rarely use them on a day-to-day -day basis, so you can look them up. These are all different events. So I wanted to point out you have the head here. If we open the head, it's got a lot of different stuff inside of there. It's got first child, first element child. You'll notice the first element child is that meta tag. Last child is, is the style. Last element child is that style tag, wherever it is um, right there. The next element that's a sibling is the body. So it's got all these all this different information inside of there. And it's all you'll see all these different things are added to each DOM element. There's a ton of information. You don't need to know this, okay? I'm just going to be, be straight up. You do not need to know this. I have almost never used this in my entire life. Very few programmers actually crack open the DOM and look at the document and look at all these tiny things inside unless they're having a specific, very, very specific problem and they need to look into it. And that's what Stack Overflow is for because there's a lot smarter people than me and you out there who have already come across these issues and already solve them. So very, very rarely will you ever need to crack open the DOM like this and look at it. Please don't try and memorize all the properties on this or any of that stuff. You're going to end up just through repetition learning 5 to 10% of this, maybe. Um, but it's something you're not going to have to sit down and try and memorize. It's just going to happen as you use them. So that, again, is we're diving a little bit deeper into the DOM, looking into more of the specifics of what it is, just so you can see it. Again, you don't really need to know all of, all of this information, all of these specific things. You just need to know that the DOM is basically a giant JavaScript object that has a bunch of different stuff inside of it, including all of our elements from our HTML, among, as well as a bunch of other information.
As always, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll be happy to help. Thanks.